Can you believe it? We're almost at the end of the 2019 high school football regular season. Only one week remains after this one. Welcome into the prep rally. I'm your host, Ahmad Hicks. But before we get to the highlights tonight, we have a much bigger topic we need to tackle first. The Cardinal Ritter Lions were not only one of the top programs in the state, but in the nation. They were loaded with Division I talent, but some mistakes were made. One player was supposed to be suspended for one game for his actions in the state championship game last season, but he never sat out, which caused Misha to launch an investigation. Three days after Cardinal Ritter self-reported their violations, their archdiocese canceled their season. The entire coaching staff was fired, leaving players, parents, and fans frustrated. And here to talk with me about the events that happened is Brandon Gregory, the former head coach of Cardinal Ritter. And coach, I guess the biggest question everyone wants to know is, why did you do it in that first game, switch the jersey numbers? It was blatant, it was obvious. What, what, was you, what were you thinking? Uh, I think first off is, not about a, about all of that. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, a mistake was made, no matter how you want to look at it, you know. So as, as a coach who reaches out to young men, you let them know uh, when you make a mistake, you have to be held accountable for it, you know. And so a mistake was made, no matter how the mistake was made. And, you know, I just uh, accountable for my actions because at the end of the day, I knew young men look up to me mm -hmm. uh, and I'm not perfect, you know. And if they can use this as a life lesson to, to learn from my mistake, you know, I, I think it'll go a long way with me moving forward. I think another question people want to know, did you think about the kids, especially Bill Jackson in this situation, and what, 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 what would happen if they were found out? Like I said, even getting back to the mistake at hand, I guess at the time you don't, you mm -hmm. know, and so, you know, uh, of course now, you know, Bill is hurt, I'm hurt, but, you know, uh, but uh, I promise you he going to get through it. It's just some adversity, you know, and so at the same time, you just uh, know once this this cloud passes, everything will move on, and hopefully everything will be okay. And what's your message to the community and all the people who believed in you? Because now your entire coaching staff, out of a job, they're now trying to find out what they're going to do next in life. And, and that's the biggest thing right now. You know, we're we not no bad guys. A mistake was made, you know, but I don't think that should change our character. For If you look up our resumes and what we've done for kids across the area, not just Cardinal Ritter really kids, you know, and, uh, you know, with, uh, with the success that we've been having, you know, I, I, don't, I just don't want this to overshadow it. You know, at the end of the day, we all human. A mistake was made, you know, and we're looking to, to, to move on and, and, and go from there. We understand a mistake was made. <clears throat> How would you classify yourself as a coach and as a person? Because right now, out on social media and out in St. Louis, you're labeled as a cheater. Man, and, and you hate it when you got a family, a wife, and two kids, and a mom at home. They got to look at that, you know, my butt. Uh, after talking to my mom, you know, my, my family understands and know that doesn't label me. You know, the ones who are label me with that is, guys who really don't know my story. So like I said, at the end of the day, what a mistake was made, uh, you know, and it's just challenging, you know, where now you got to live and you learn from it and mm -hmm. grow from it. And like I said, uh, see what, what may happen for you now. I know a lot of your former players would vouch for you. I used to play against you when I was in high school. What's next for Brandon Gregory? Are you done coaching? Are you going to try and get back into it? What's next? Uh, I don't know. I'll be honest with you, family time. You know, I got a daughter down at Jackson State, you know, who's been calling me ever since everything went on. You know, I got a daughter that's in eighth grade, going to be in high school. So. Maybe this might be a call for me to, you know, focus more on them, you know, but uh, hopefully I can get back into coaching. I just know right now uh, that's not even nothing that I thought about, you know, and so, you know, we'll just take it day by day, uh, stay prayed up and, and see what happens. Do you think your seniors will be okay? The ones who are trying to get scholarship offers, do you think they will be affected by this? I think it can affect them, but I promise you it won't affect them because I'm going to do everything I can without, uh, you know, stepping on toes and doing what I can legally wise to let coaches know what's going on with them. Uh, in every crew, you know, so I, it should affect it, but uh, we won't let it affect it because I'm going to go over and beyond to make sure that uh, this does not affect their uh, recruitment as if I was still there. And I know your players think you're a great coach. You see a lot of the hashtags on Twitter, free Brandon Gregory and whatnot. What did they come say to you when you broke the news to them? Uh, the, the players? Yes. Man, they actually, uh, they broke down. It was very emotional. You know, you know, you around football guys, we the tough guys, you know, but uh, when it was, when I had to let them know that I would be gone, you know, it's just been, uh, it was very emotional. They broke down on me. You know, I broke down on them, to be honest with you. So uh, from that standpoint, I just let them know that it's okay to be emotional. And, and sometimes you, you got to cry, you know. And so uh, the biggest thing right now is just if you on, on, on social media, just looking at all the, you know, you hear what people saying, but you got more people that's in your corner. And it actually helps you realize how many people you really serviced or helped. Mm -hmm. You know, I actually got people that's reaching out that I didn't even coach or I didn't have a clue, the little girl in the hallway looked up to me in three years, you know what I mean? So it, it hurts right now, you know, but uh, like I told them, I'm a phone call away still, you know, and I'm willing to help out 
and be around and be a guide to them as, as much as I can. Okay, Coach, we appreciate it. If you want to see more of this interview or hear more from Coach Brandon Gregory, just visit our website, ksdk.com, or our YouTube channel. That'll be on there as soon as we wrap up things tonight.